coming out for this ride and you're kind of questioning yourself you know what um what type of bike should i bring out um I would certainly say that for the um, first part, so the more Chicago, um, Lake Michigan, up until the Mascot Hall of Fame, I would say, you know, a speeder, a road bike, such as, such as my one today, you know, or my buddies, uh, I would say, yes, yeah, certainly that. Um, but now that we're getting on the third sort of uh but we had our second stop and we're on sort of our third furlong if you will um before our third stop i would say for this part of the trail uh, or the ride i'd say something to the effect of what just passed us right now you know um so then a cross between a road bike and not so much a mountain bike but you know road tires um so no you know nothing off-roady or anything like that but yeah certainly tires um in between these sort of little you know uh, three quarter inch wide to maybe about an inch wide because then yeah this part is a little bit rougher than uh, so if you have that luxury of having multiple bikes for multiple surfaces and and such I'd recommend uh, maybe having somebody follow you and you can jump on a, a whole new bike just for this third furlong um, because it's a little yeah it's a little more bumpier rougher so I guess something maybe with you know shock absorption would do a lot better in this terrain and it will cause you less fatigue that's you know that's of course the name of the game you want to conserve maintain the level of fatigue before that next stop if you're gonna go electric yeah certainly something with thicker tires and um, an element of shock absorption too yeah, but other than that um I mean you can survive as you can see we're surviving is just we go a little bit slower that's all moderate uh, to moderate the bumps and the humps there we go so now we're out in the open again
All right. All right. So I believe we are passing through the lovely town of Hobart, Indiana. Let's see what's happening here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Lakes. Something called the Lakes Front District. Lakes, Lakefront District in Hobart. Very cute. Oh wow, yeah, there's some really nice ponds down there, guys. Wow. Imagine if that's a private pond. What kind of fish you got there? On your love, guys. I will. Seven, eight mile an hour northeasterly. But it's durable, it's bearable. Unpaved little paths here as well. Uh, 